Hello, first graders. Today we're going to review three ways to read a book and focus on the third way to read a book. We know about reading the pictures. We know about reading the words. And today we're gonna to focus on the third way, retell the story. So what I'm gonna think about is what characters were in my book, the setting, which is where it took place, and the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So first I'm gonna start with my characters. The characters in my book were Officer Buckle and Gloria. Those are the main characters that most of the events happened around. The setting of my book is mostly at different schools where Officer Buckle and Gloria were presenting. Sometimes they were in Officer Buckle's office and sometimes they were out and about in town, but most of the time they were at a school. Officer Buckle gave presentations to students about safety and he bored the students and they weren't very interested and no one seemed to listen. In the middle of the story, the police department got a police dog named Gloria and Gloria went with Officer Buckle to present. She was so silly and did lots of silly tricks behind Officer Buckle and everyone really enjoyed the presentations. At the end, Officer Buckle noticed that everyone wasn't really listening to him. They were really looking at Gloria and all the silly things she would do. And he became upset and stopped going to present to the children. So Gloria tried it on her own, but things didn't work out. And accidents happened because they weren't listening to any of the safety rules. So at the very end, Officer Buckle and Gloria decided that the best safety tip of all is to always stick with your buddy. And that's what happened in Officer Buckle and Gloria. So for how to read a book, number three, you retell the story. You're going to say who the characters were, what the setting was, and what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So now you know the three ways to read a book. Read the pictures, read the words, and last, retell the story. Bye, first graders.